All right, you'll be good today. All right. We give them the utmost trust. I'll be back later. Oh, don't worry about us. We'll have a great day. Leaving our precious children in their care. Once upon a time, there was a pretty princess. Most are kind, caring, and loving. <laughs> but then there are the horror stories about nannies. They're all over the news. The nanny accused of hurting a child in her care. Tracy Omer was tending their two children, ages one and two. She would poke the child with objects, scratch the child with a kitchen sponge, saying that she had gone so far as to scrape off skin and draw blood. We set up our hidden cameras in Rutherford, New Jersey. Giselle is playing an abusive nanny. I'm not playing with you, Ava. Put it down. She's watching Ava and her baby sister, who's actually a doll. What would you do if you saw this? Are you listening to me? I don't get paid enough for this. I wish you were never born. If you don't listen to me, I'm going to hurt you. At first, passers-by clearly hear the verbal abuse. You know, I don't get paid enough for this. But they keep on walking and don't say a word. Come on, I'm gonna beat you, is what I'm gonna do. You need to start listening, brat. This man later says he didn't step in because the abuse wasn't physical. God, I hate you, I wish you were never born. This woman watches and almost gets involved before she turns around and walks away, all because of something she says happened to her husband. He, he was punched in the face because a guy was beating his girlfriend up and he tried to intervene. Yeah, so. Pick it up, Ava, pick it up, hurry up. This woman stops dead in her tracks and Let's just go. watches too. Ava, look at me, you think this is a game? It seems that people aren't sure when to intervene, so we push it a bit further. Did you just slam it? Did you slam it? Pick it up. That's when this woman moves in. Hey. get paid enough for this. She's a brat. I don't care if she's a brat. You just knocked it out of her hands. Why don't you just bend over and help me? Yeah, then kick them at her. That's just me. I'm the one in charge. She has to do what I say. Well, you treat her decently. You treat people the way you want to be treated. She's just a brat, just like her little sister. Oh, yeah. You do anything to the little sister, I am calling the police because this is hinging on abuse. Look, this is none of your business, okay? Yeah, it is my business. How? I'm a parent and I'm a grandparent, and I wouldn't want my children to treat it like that. You have no right to treat this child like this. We tell the nanny to storm off. You watch her, then you could have her. Do you know your mommy's phone number? 917. She's actually calling one of our actors, pretending to be the mom. Hi, is this Diana? Yes, it is. Yeah, is I everything okay? No, it's not. This woman is very mean to your daughter. She said your daughter is nothing but a rotten brat. I have a friend in the neighborhood. He'll be right there. His name's John. That's John Quinones. Good thing that I'm right next door. How are you, ma'am? <laughs> She's with us. She's with us. <laughs> are you okay? Oh, you're shaking still. She's an actress. She's fine. Give me a hint. Oh, sweetie. I was so scared for you. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. I'm glad it was just pretend. But it'll make other little girls know that they have to know mommy's phone number. Okay? <laughs> Uh, this is our nanny. She's okay. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I know I gave you hell, but it's okay. You know. No, you stood up for her. That was awesome. Oh, yeah. You were passionate. Oh, oh, definitely. I, I'm a mother. Yeah. I will be a mother forever. <laughs> Why are you not looking at me when I talk to you? Look at me. And now our nasty nanny is back at it again. Move fast. The hurtful words are enough for this guy to step in. You said, I don't get paid enough to do I this? I don't. I don't get paid enough for this. Yeah, but you can't be yelling at somebody's kid like that. Who is this? Your baby's This your is not your, your business. Your business okay? No, it kind of is. I mean, you're sitting here screaming at a little girl, and she just drops some crayon? What's your name? Giselle. Giselle, I think I might have to call the cops. Did she hit you or anything like that? Hey. Ava. Who are you calling? Sir. Hello, Rutherford Police. There's a woman out here with a young child. She's 
screaming at her. But of course, the police already know we're here. It's time to break the scene. Yeah, it is, it's, it's what would you do? It's the TV show, what would you do? She's an actress. Holy crap. <laughs> After a few seconds, he calms down. She said, it's none of your business. No, it's my business. If, you, if you're walking by somebody on the street and you might not know them, but it's, I think, it's, yeah, you just can't let it go on. I don't get paid enough to watch you, you little brat. Throughout the day, we meet many people who do step in and confront our nanny. Get the crayons to you, little brat. What are you doing? How dare you treat her like that? She's a brat. It doesn't matter. You're teaching her to be a brat by being a brat yourself. I'm her nanny, and she is an idiot. You don't ever call that child an idiot. Nice. That's going to ruin her for life. Sorry. I hope you lose your job. And what about the other men passing by? Well, along comes this father. She's stupid. I think actually you're stupid. How many times are you going to call her stupid? I'm a father. I don't know who you are or if you ever plan on having kids, but I don't think you belong having kids. Is everything okay? She's a brat. This woman calmly observes the nanny's ranting, Aiden, taking it all in. Can I help do the cleanup so she can have a little break and you can too? I have two kids, so I know they get frustrated sometimes. Very gentle in your approach. I have kids. They've trained me well. <laughs> Just about to go tanning, and I was making a phone call, and I saw your daughter across the street with the nanny. And then we meet Myla who comes from a large family. She blows off an appointment to come to our little girl's rescue. Can you stay with her and then I'll talk to Giselle? Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't really feel comfortable giving my phone to her, but I'll stay with her until you come. When we tell our nanny to leave... This is ridiculous. Come sit over here next to me. Myla starts bonding with Ava. How old are you, six? Mm-hmm. How long has she been watching you? Maybe when I was like zero. When you were zero, so she's been your nanny a long time. Has she always been this mean? Yeah. Do you tell your mommy? No, because I'm too scared. You can't. My be nanny scared. might hurt me. Okay, let me tell you something. I have eight sisters. That means eight of little yous walking around. <laughs> and our mom and dad always tell us if anybody is bad to you or if somebody comes up to you on the street, like you have to tell your mom and dad. Promise you're gonna tell your mom every time somebody's mean to you? Yeah. Thank you, sir. Okay. Now, guess who's coming around the corner? Mommy! Hi! Mommy, Hi, mommy! Sweetie. Hi, are you okay? Mm hmm Yeah? And so are we. <laughs> Hi, Myla. Come here, please. You're wonderful. What a pleasure meeting you. I'm John Quinones. You okay? <laughs> God, oh you're God, so sweet. So no, you're embarrassing. Are you kidding? You did the right thing. You really helped. If this had been real, the little girl would have been in trouble. I have eight sisters, though. You don't have to spend this kind of time with a stranger. She's so cute, though, and sweet. <laughs> I felt so bad. And she was treating her like a dog. She's like, go fetch. <laughs> you say you see this? In Manhattan, all the time. It's always like nannies with kids, and you know, the parents are around, so they don't know. And people, as New Yorkers, we don't really say anything. <laughs> You're a good actress. Thank you. If this had been real, you would have needed help. A lot.